I'm just gonna cut to the chase with this one. This manga is sad, like really sad, but in a wholesome sort of way. And it almost got me crying too. Dodge the big sad, just barely. Because not only is the story or plot generally sad, the art style paired with it makes it even worse, but in a good way. And you may be wondering, what is this manga that I'm hyping up so much? Well, it's this short one shot called The Smell of Happiness. This is from the artist Tatsuki, and I found it while researching another video, and it was just so good that I had to make a review on this one first. So let's just jump straight into it. Instead of our protagonist being a bipedal human, we take the point of view of a stray dog who has a big nose, and this dog really loves sniffing everything in his city. The smell of freshly baked pastries, farmers markets, roses, the rooftops, all of that. And some elderly gentleman offers him a bone, which makes him ecstatic since he thinks the smell is super tasty and loves all the happy, exciting smells. But some bomber planes fly overhead, as our good boy doesn't like the smell that they've created. Seeing a widow crying, he thinks that everything smells like fire and gunpowder these days. But while he's napping, a stranger walks up to him carrying a hot dog, which he thinks is a good smell. But the stranger walks off, and the dog thinks to himself that soon, sometime he won't be able to smell anything anymore. He lays down again, dreaming of the amazing smells he smelled before, and the beautiful art he saw in the church of an angel as his life draws to an end. But someone puts their hand on his head as the dog recognizes the smell. The stranger from before came back for the dog, taking him home to this countryside cottage. The dog's regained weight, and we see the owner doesn't have an arm, saying that he may have lost his arm, but got to meet him in exchange. And the dog gets head scratches, saying that the smell he loves the most most in the whole wide world is this one. Okay, so I may have lied in the beginning saying it didn't make me cry because going through it again, I definitely did. It's just so cute and adorable and so incredibly sad at the same time. The author put so much into such a short time span with the one shot only being 10 pages long, but it's just so good. Any rating I could give this would be meaningless because it just transcends what we know of for modern storytelling. And the art style being somewhat of a 1920s cartoon makes it just so much better as well i recommend you check it out for yourselves as always that's all i got i'll see you in the next one